Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patterson here and here is another Illustrator CC tutorial and today I'm just going to show you how to do a couple of things that I've been working on. I've been working on these posters as you can see here and um, they're basically just really simple posters, uh, speaking about Bible verses and stuff like that uh, for my online store. But I wanted to show you how to do uh, something here and I want to show you this. Um, a lot of people... Uh, I think have asked me about this in the comment section well not this specific design but how to do something like this and it's generally really easy to do so I'm going to show you how to do it in a new document so I'm going to open up a new A4 document well it's not an A4 document let's not bother with that we'll just go for 12A by 720 like so because it doesn't matter and then I'm, I'm going to go and write something so I'm going to go um, text in just writing anything whatsoever at the minute. I'm not using my graphics tablet because uh, it takes a bit of time uh, to get out. And then I'm just going to change the font to my favorite, Brandon Grotesque, and then put it to black. If you're wondering about my um, you like um, the user interface and why it's sort of grey, it's because I'm use I'm in a new office and it looks better for me and it helps my eyes um, focus on what I'm working on better. Um, I'm not too sure why it just does. Then I'm going to go up to type, and the thing that you want to make sure is with the title, you want to make sure that it's uh, in uppercase, like so. After I've done that, I'm going to go press Shift Command O, which will bring it into uh, a shape. So now it's no longer editable text; it's actually a shape. Now, as we can, if we highlight it, we can see up here it's known as a group. So what we need to do is change that, and we need to go ahead and make a compound path. And you can do that by going to Object, Compound Path, Make, or pressing Command and 8, or Control and 8. As you can see, there's no fill in there now, so we need to go and press Black again to get the fill back in. And then I'm going to go ahead, text in U, and I'm just going to write U. Uh, I'm going to keep that just normal there, and I'm just going to probably use this as a dolly, um, or something like that. We could just find a font, really, couldn't we? Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see if we can find something that we like. I like Dolly at the minute because this this will really help you guys understand what I mean. Okay, so now this is editable text, so we need to go and change it to non-editable text by pressing Command Shift and O. And then again, we need to go ahead uh, with this one. Actually, we need to first off uh, merge everything together because if I zoom in here, you can see that they're they're not all merged; they're just separate shapes. So we need to highlight them and uh, unite them together and then we need to create a compound path which is already done for us because we united it together when you unite it it creates a compound path okay so I'm going to position this just about here and what we need to do is we need to create a border around here now as you can see there's actually nothing around here to select and uh, it doesn't look the cleanest of cuts and I'll show you why in a sec but we need to create sort of a border around here um, around the shape so what we normally do with this is I'm going to highlight you. I'm going to go to Object Path Offset Path. I'm going to preview for a second, and as you can see, the um, offset means it's adding sort of like a big stroke to it, um, or adding like the shape layer but scaled up. And we're going to go to the joins to uh, to round to make sure it stays round. I'm going to play with the offset size a bit. I'm going to put it about eight. And after we put it to 8, we want to go ahead and not click uh, the inside bit. Uh, if you click this bit in the inside, uh, basically you'll uh, mess the whole process up a bit. Because this bit is totally different to that bit. So what we need to do is make sure we're hitting the outside one, not the inside one. And then selecting the texting as well. And then going here, we need to press minus front, which will minus it. So as you can see, it's easier for you guys to read. And then with this, we can change the colors to whatever we want. So I could change this to green. And this could be red. Uh, so you guys can see. It doesn't look good at all like that. But as you see, it does work uh, a lot more, a lot better. Um, and that is how you do it. And you can do it with plenty of other different ways. There's so many different ways of using this tool. Um, I use it all the time when I'm doing uh, Illustrator work, but it's a fundamental tool to use because as you can see it's so easy to do that You don't need to map anything out. It just does it by itself 
and it just looks great. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this or this, which will be cool. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Um, I'm actually just working on these things now uh, for posters. And if you want to pick up any posters, by the way, um, and somebody goes to charity as well, and you'll find that on prophesiedparrel.co.uk, uh, go check that website out and you'll see um, some of my t-shirts online for you to buy no matter where you are in the world, you can buy them. Uh, if you have any problems trying to buy them, just give us a comment on here and I will sort it out as soon as possible. Thank you so much. And by the way, guys, if I sound really tired, that is because I'm sort of really busy moving all my stuff into the office. And plus, I'm moving house soon, so I need to, uh, I'm just sort of cracking down on a bit of work uh, and trying to get that ready. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.